<laughs> Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Hey! Hey! All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Snow, could you, uh... Stand over there. Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is... feels strange. What are you thinking? The slug should have gone over there, right behind him. Not here. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Still a little sticky.
faith. I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? We found your note. They made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lot. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself. Knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by. Makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. Your wife is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck, Georgie. Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? See who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife.
Hey! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! Up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. 
Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Bigby. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. What kind of toy was it? Lord, if I know, Big B, he has so many worthless bubbles. I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. You bleeding? Why? Is that blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not...
bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No. There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? Most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. What do you mean? I'm not lying. I cut myself on the poker thing. Come on. You said you cut your foot. You said you cut your hand. And that much blood? Mmm, it's not adding up, buddy. What is it? Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Locks busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Why haven't you fixed this? Anyone on the street could just walk right in. There's better priorities than busted doorknobs. And who's gonna come in and take anything? There's nothing to take. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? 
when you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? <sighs> this is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, yeah. you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. Do you know what he was looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really.
when you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Thanks I for wish you. there was Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's It's nothing. I just Seeing all this today there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prost thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are... As he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I just be careful, please. Same goes for you. I will. Let's go.